Yo, what's good, kids? Welcome back to Thug Notes. Today, we repping the 1% with The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now, Nick Carraway is an Ivy League white boy who rents a house in Long Island next door to the pimping crib of Jay Gatsby, a rich playboy with that mad Mitt Romney money. Across the way, my boy Nick be chilling with his cousin Daisy and her man Tom. Now, what Daisy don't know is that Tom got himself a sexy hoe on the side named Myrtle. Now, Myrtle is married to some weak-ass punk named George who can't please his woman. One day while kicking it at Gatsby's crib, Nick discovered that his cousin Daisy used to be Gatsby's main bitch. He moved to Long Island in hopes that he might get a crack at that ass again. Mm. Anyway, all these rich white folks decide to take a trip to Manhattan together. These fools arrive at the Plaza Hotel where Daisy's hubby Tom gets all crunk about Daisy and Gatsby's relationship. Gatsby and Tom get all up in each other's grill and tell Daisy that she's got to choose her man, but this bitch can't make up her mind. Back in the hood, George straight up says, Myrtle, I know you've been acting like a dirty skate. Myrtle loses her shit with George and says, I wouldn't have to play you if you didn't act like such a bitch. So Daisy be driving Gatsby's car back to Long Island when that crazy hoe Myrtle just goes up and slings her ass in front of the car. Bam! She dead. Daisy just keeps driving Gatsby whip, gets the hell out of Dodge, and decides she's done with Gatsby. When Tom finds out about the murder, he goes up and tells George that it was Gatsby who was driving the car. Now George be thinking that it was Gatsby who was Myrtle's stud. So that boy George grabs a nine and caps Gatsby while he's chilling in his pool. Then he done iced himself. Damn. After dealing with all this rich white boy angsty bullshit, Nick decides he needs to get his ass out of New York and chill out in the Midwest. Now let's get right to it, homeboy. Gatsby can be considered a criticism of the anti-Calvinistic image of the American dream. America may have started as a land where homies got each other's backs, but Fitzgerald America is full of backstabbing crackers that make Gatsby's romantic dream ridiculous. My boy Gatsby keeps it real by sticking to his American ideals. Like that fool mentor says, because of the beauty of his dream and the heroism of his efforts to move beyond it, Gatsby can be made great. Check this motif, son. Dreams versus reality. Gatsby has this big ass delusion about the future with this bitch Daisy. Gatsby be thinking that you can repeat the past, but my brother be straight tripping. Cause on the real, ain't nobody can recover past time. You can see that Fitzgerald embodies this motif in tiny details. For example, on page 50, it's revealed that Gatsby has a big ass stack of books, most of which he's never read. It's like Gatsby be fronting trying to look all intelligent and shit, but that ain't reality, B. You ain't no shit about Gatsby until you know about the symbol of the green light. Some players think the green light symbolizes the fading optimism of Gatsby's dream. At the beginning of the book, the green light has a burning quality that gets Gatsby all riled up about shacking up with this bitch. But by the end of this book, it's just another lame ass green light. There ain't nothing special about it, just like it's fake ass dreams. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Thug Notes. I hope y'all bitch ass learned something today. See you next time, player.